Agilent has had long-standing involvement in trying to address concerns related to PFAS. While PFAS has been around for decades, a better part of the 20th century, it's really been in the past 20 years when there's been a lot of interest in understanding PFAS chemicals, PFAS materials, and finding a way to understand them and analyze them. Because in measurement, you have a better understanding of the risk and can make better decisions in terms of technology and in terms of policy. PFAS analysis is required at an extremely low level. These compounds, some of their regulatory limits are at the low nanogram per liter. These levels are typically the equivalent of one drop in around 20 Olympic sized swimming pools. And so that in itself is a challenge, the fact that we are measuring so low. The biggest concern now is PFAS are everywhere. So how do we make sure we're not accidentally introducing PFAS into our samples? Eliminating PFAS from the background, from the laboratory environment, so that you are measuring them accurately in samples, I'd say is the biggest challenge. Agilent's really taking a leading position here in terms of developing PFOS-free sample prep kits, even PFOS-free vials, to ensure that when our customers are measuring for PFOS, what they're finding is related to environmental contamination and not due to contamination of the workflow that's being used for the measurement. Agilent offers complete solutions for our customers to engage in PFOS testing in their laboratories and really address the elements related to the policies coming from the Environmental Protection Agency to analyze for these materials. Components of those workflow solutions include the sample purification and sample prep kits that are used to prepare the samples for analysis, also the instrumentation and the LC columns and GC columns that would be used in our instruments. Of course, the instrumentation, our gas chromatographs, our liquid chromatographs, in order to analyze these types of materials. Mass spectrometry, in addition to better quantitate exactly the types of PFOS molecules that are in the sample. After all, there's thousands of different types of PFOS materials in the world. And certainly at the end, the ability to understand and analyze the data and draw really good conclusions from it. My suggestion to a customer getting into PFAS would be contact your Agilent representative. We have over 15 years of experience doing PFAS analysis and we will, chances are, be able to get you a head start on what you're trying to do. Some of the other important things for them to consider is to think about what matrix they want to measure PFAS in. What is their goal of measurement of PFAS? Is it a particular client asking for a level or is it a regulatory level? And thirdly, to think about, are they even ready to make that investment to do this PFAS testing? So these are all things they should certainly look to discuss with their Agilent representative, and I think we'll be happy to help them. Our customers are tackling some of the biggest challenges in the world today, whether that's looking at different biopharmaceutical solutions to be able to cure diseases, or whether it's looking at environmental contaminants. That's how Agilent makes the world a better place. We partner closely with our customers and work with them to understand the challenges and the problems they're trying to solve, help them craft the right solution, and ensure we're innovation leaders in developing the right solutions to be able to address those great challenges that our customers are tackling.